go into turn one that first time at over 200 miles an hour? Was it anywhere close to what you thought it would be like? And just was there a thrill factor even for a seasoned pro like yourself? Um, it, it was okay, I think, thanks to their rookie uh, theme. So the first couple of laps, you know, you lift off and, and then you you go in the corner, so you start feeling the grip, the car, and, and you try to follow that, that target that you need to, to reach at the end of the lap in terms of the speed. So that was one theme. And then uh, at one point, they told me, okay, you, you're done with all the limitations, so you know we, you just need to do now 15 laps uh, above uh, 215, so run you know, free as, as, as you feel. And I knew that Marco was flat out in, in turn one, so I said, I will do flat out now in turn one because the car is able to do it. So I arrived to turn one, and I, I was convinced 100% that I was doing flat out, but the f foot was not flat out. Yeah. That's his own life, you know, uh, it was not connecting my brain with the foot at that moment. So uh, at the second or third lap, I was I was able to do it. But uh, in the first lap, it was it was definitely a a very um, a very good feeling you know, to, to to feel the to be able to feel the respect of, of the place, the respect of the car, uh, the respect of the speed. You know, it, it's something that uh, for any racing driver is is just pure adrenaline. So it, it was a good day. What is this for Indy car racing? Just the Indy 500 to have a, to have a guy who's a current driver in F1 be here. I think it's fabulous. I mean, uh, we have seen this in the past. It's uh, nothing new, but it it's been it's new for recent you know in recent times, and uh, it's certainly welcome because uh, it's a special opportunity that Fernando has because he doesn't have much to lose in Formula One, and you're not going to have too many Formula One drivers give up Monaco, you know, if they're in the play for uh, for points. Yeah. Anyway. So, um, and to have the backing of the McLaren itself, I think is wonderful. And, and the hope the McLaren would uh, field a team of their own in the future in IndyCar is also something that uh, we certainly would welcome. So, uh, he's welcomed here with open arms, no question and, about it. And you have, you've observed all day. He seems to have taken to it like a duck to water. I mean, he's a champion, you know, he's got the experience and uh, he's got a car that. Uh, you know, it's set up properly, you know, Marco just made sure that uh, there would be no surprises for him. So uh, I'm not surprised at all, uh, but he's doing everything that uh, is expected of him and more. And it's a pleasant thing to watch.